Hey, and welcome to another tutorial on how to export your contacts out of the web version of Outlook. And then uh, we'll put it into uh, regular Outlook. So I'm going to go into manage up here in the top. And I guess I should probably start out with when in Outlook, make sure that you're on the people tab over here on the left hand side. And then you're going to go to manage over in the right hand side. And from there, you want to click on export. And uh, of course, it's giving me a bit of a fit. And there we go. Click on export. And then it says, what do you want to, what do you want to export? So we go into all contacts. Um, so you, you have, if you have different uh, aspects of it, I'm just going to do all contacts and then hit export. And as you can see on the left-hand side, it exports that as a CSV file. And I'm assuming that it will probably download to my downloads folder when it's done. So, and it does. Now in regular, uh, Outlook. I'm going to get a mailbox over here for just a second. And now we're into the desktop version of Outlook and we're going to go into file, open and export on the left hand side. And uh, it, it doesn't have import, which is kind of silly on Microsoft's part. We're going to go to import and you want to import from another program or file. And look at that comma separated values, otherwise known as a CSV. And then do you want duplicates to be created? If not, uh, do not import duplicate items, which I highly recommend. I check that before I go into browse, I'm gonna go into my downloads folder and there's my contacts that I just exported. So I'm gonna click on okay. And then you kind of next, next, next finish. If I go to next here, it says, well, where do you wanna put this? Um, you would probably preferably put this in your contacts folder right here. So you kind of have to search up and down in your folders here if you have a lot like mine. And then it'll ask you to map the custom fields. I don't recommend doing that unless you're a uh, super user. And then click on finish and it will bring all over your contacts into your uh, desktop version of Outlook. So if you have any other further questions, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way when new content is pushed out, you'll be the first to know. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of the day.